Hello, friends. Lesson 15, session five is what we're doing in this video. I'm on page 349, and hopefully you're watching this on Friday, maybe even Thursday. You got a jump start on your math. Um, I'm on page 349, and the problem says there are 13 people on the bus. Seven people get off. How many people are on the bus? So remember, when you have things like off or leave, that means you are, that's a word clue, you're going to subtract. So those are word clues for subtraction. All right, here we go. 13. We have 13 people on the bus. Seven people get off. How many people are on the bus now? This is problem number one. So I drew my number line and you can um, make 10. You can do what we did before where we did 10 and three and then three plus four gets you to seven. So you're going to start, no matter what, on number 13, hop back three, one, two, three, minus three, one, two, three, four, minus four. So your answer is six. Okay, good. So if you know, um, if you know 10 plus three is 13, and then you know seven plus 10, oops, I'm sorry, that's not right. Seven plus three is 10, you have six. You took six away and you landed on, wait, hold on, I'm sorry. I was trying to teach you something new. Uh, maybe this is not the time to do it. Okay, oh, so you're trying to get to 10. I took six away. One, two, three, four. Oh, and here's your seven. Okay. Anyway, disregard that. <laughs> we always have to try new things and see if we can figure it out. Maybe you can figure it out, but my brain is not working right now. So I'm just going to let it go. All right. Number two, K has 15 pecans. Yum. Those are nuts. They're so good. She eats eight of them. That means they're gone. So eight is another word clue, okay? Um, how many are left? So we're gonna do, um, oh my goodness, my brain is really not working today. Some days you have good days and some days you have bad days. 15 minus eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 15 minus eight is seven. Nice job. Hopefully that wasn't too hard for you. I didn't break it down um, into your jumps just so that way I hope that wasn't too hard and doesn't mess you up, but you can also just jump back eight spots. All right, there are four birds, or excuse me, 14 birds in a tree. Five birds fly away. How many birds are in the tree? Okay, so 14, five fly away. So 14 minus four is 10. 10 minus one is nine. Four plus one is five. Look at that, I took, so it's 14 minus five is nine. Um, so what I did is I did 14, Minus four, which is kind of what you're doing on your, when you're jumping out back on the number line is 10. Um, but I'm not taking away four, I'm taking away one. So then I take what I got there and I subtract one from 10 and I get nine. And then I add up how many I subtracted. Four plus one is five. I really subtracted five. I did it in one, two steps. And so the total that I started with was 14 minus five and the answer is nine. But if you wanna see, I will do this on a number line as well, okay? Again, don't mind that some of my numbers are really squished. I'm gonna start out at 14. I'm gonna jump back four. One, two, three, four, minus four, there it is. Now I'm gonna jump back one more because I'm doing five jumps total. I landed on nine. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. 
this is just another strategy. Just think of it like another tool in your toolbox that can help you so you can be successful. Alrighty, number four, Jim has 13 marbles. Six are blue, the rest are white. How many are white? Okay. All right, so he has um, 10 and three and three. So I did 13 breaks down into 10 plus three. I know three plus three equals six. So I'm gonna do All right, now I'm gonna hop back three, one, two, three, because I know 13 minus three is 10. Um, so I use that three, now I have three more to go. One, two, three, and circle where you land. I landed on seven, okay? You could also say, all right, I have six. I know six plus four equals 10, and I know 10 plus three equals 13, four plus three is seven. So this is using addition to help you subtract, okay? So if you know you have six marbles, you jump forward to 10, jump forward to 13, that's seven jumps, okay? Oh, oops, I forgot to label these. Which three minus three, or minus three minus three is minus six. All right, so this is using addition to help you subtract because addition and subtraction are opposites. Hopefully you got that right. Number five, there are 14 lemons on a tree. Molly picks eight of them. Okay, awesome. So if I wanted to do this one, I could do, let's see if I could try it using that other strategy. Eight plus two equals 10. Okay, I'm jumping forward to 10. I'm using addition to help me solve subtraction. Now I'm gonna do 10 plus four equals 14. Add up the two and the four, two plus four is six. So my answer is six. If I wanted to do it with subtraction, it would look like this. Break it down into 10 and four. Eight is four plus four. Now I'm gonna draw it on the number line, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, get kind of the scrunch, 14. Can you see my 14? No, you can't, there. Okay, now you can see my 14. So I'm gonna start on 14. I'm gonna hop back four to get me the 10. One, two, three, four. Okay, minus four. But I have eight jumps to do, not just four. One, two, three, four, minus four is six. Okay, I went and did it a different way, but I want you to know both of them because having all these different strategies is gonna help you to choose which one you like the best. All right, last one, and then you have to take your quiz. And I know you're gonna do amazing. Fadil has 16 muffins. He gives out nine muffins. So remember gives out is a word clue. So what you can do is you can start with this number, nine plus one equals 10. 10 plus six equals 16. One plus six is seven. So the answer is seven. Um, that's using addition to subtract because addition and subtraction are opposite. So this would be the fact family, okay? So if you have to add seven to nine to get to 16, then you know 16 minus nine is seven. Okay, the other strategy that we have been doing is 10 and six, and then six, seven, eight, nine gets you there. So now we're gonna do the number line. Weeks, I'm running out of room big time. Okay, so I'm gonna start at 16 and I'm gonna jump back six. One, two, three, four, five, six to get to my 10 minus six. Now I'm gonna jump back, I already did that. Now I'm gonna jump back three, one, two, three, minus three because three plus six 
is nine. I just did it in different steps. So it's like a road trip and you're like driving, 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 and I'm exhausted. I need to go to the bathroom. I need food. So you stop and then you still have to keep going. Okay. So try to think of it like a road trip. I love road trips. Um, and then circle where you land. 16 minus nine is seven. All right. Hope you had fun with math today. I will see you on Monday.